In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create points from alignment geometry. There's obviously very uh, quite a few different ways to create points. So under the points tab, you'll see under create points, we have all sorts of different options here. Now specifically, if we go to alignments, the two ones that we will look at is station and offset, as well as at alignment geometry. We'll go and start with at alignment geometry. You realize when you select that, that this box will come up with several uh, options for the points that get created when we do this option, perform this option. First you'll see that this layer here, uh, any point that's created in this setting will be on V node. And then there's different point creation items. The local coordinates, this is an important one. We have the northing and easting set here. Um, these actually won't come through because we don't have a projection set in ours. Um, and then these three here, there's some, uh, these are important for our specific for ours, we're just going to set the elevation to none uh, so that we don't have an elevation. We'll be looking specifically at plan view on this one. Uh, prompt for names, we won't prompt for names, but we will deal with the descriptions. Instead of doing it manually, what we're going to do is do it automatic by object. So this is going to spe specify the specific object. So the you can see the point of beginning here, the point of commencement, point of tangency, and uh, end point. Those will all come in as well as the point of intersection and the location of the center of the um, arc for this circular arc here. So once those are set, go ahead and select our alignment. You can see down in the dialog box it's asking us to select our alignment. So we'll go ahead and go in here, select that alignment. Now it's going to set the stationing beginning and end. So between these two settings of the beginning and the end of the stationing is where it will perform these creation of points. We're going to do it at the beginning, which is just the start zero zero, and then end station. 61.63, you can see the end of the arc is over here, so our total alignment is 61.63 feet. So we'll do it all the way within those bounds, and um, at that point, you'll see that, uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of this. Sure enough, you can see that the geometry points come in, the beginning point here. Uh, if I hover over that, you can see the, the under the full description, we get alignment and it's going to give the stationing as well as the BOA, which is the beginning of alignment there. Um, so each of those have a, a point that's come in for those. Now what you'll notice is under all points, if I go to my Prospector tab on Toolspace, the last few items that have come in here are indeed for, um, are going to show a raw description um, giving the stationing as well as a brief uh, acronym for whatever their um, specified for that point. So this is the beginning of alignment. Um, you're going to see the, the point of commencement here, the midpoint, point of tangency, the CPI, this is the, the point of intersection there. And you can see all of those come through. So th that raw description will be helpful for specifying um, that in the table. And you can see that points 20 through 26, this is where we will set the point group from 20 to 26 in order to display that in our table.